Hey, and, and just looking back, uh, we, we just started this talk with uh, saying that we're already working together for, for many years. Um, so just look at the last three years. How, how did it evolve? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the, there have been a lot of expectations uh, during the last three years. Uh, companies uh, uh, were hoping that uh, uh, they had found a, a new way uh, to uh, uh, get uh, awareness without spending much. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, now companies, I think, have realized that uh, there is no uh, magic bullet, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and employee mm -hmm. advocacy uh, can be a great uh, complement to paid media, but uh, it requires several things. It requires good content, and like uh, any program, some support uh, from the company. You know, it's not uh, it's not magic. So uh, I think that uh, a good employee advocacy program is uh, much more than a platform. First, huh? and, uh, it deserves the the right management. And uh, because employees, you know, they need to understand the benefit for them as well yeah. as for the company. And, uh, and, and the need to be uh, properly recognized and, and rewarded for their efforts. Uh, and I think that uh, companies who tried uh, uh, an advocacy program uh, without uh, taking that in account uh, mm -hmm. have, have met some, uh, some difficulties. Yeah. And, and maybe the, the other thing we, we see that we, we have seen a strong convergence between employee communication, employee mm -hmm. advocacy, and employee engagement. And, our conviction is that these three topics uh, are linked and, and you cannot address one without the others. Uh, they have to be addressed uh, them together. And it's also a good way to mutualize costs, you know.